Okay, good day po sa ating lahat mga ginigilim kong mga pink clowners. So, siguro nagkakaroon kayo ng konting confusion bakit dito po ako sa notebook ngayon nagsusulat at hindi sa board. Okay, I prefer po na dito lang po muna ako magko-compute or magsusulat and at the same time magdi-discuss para po kahit papaano is ma-minimize po natin. Ball pen and notebook lang po muna ang aking gagawin later on, on the later part of this video, meron po tayong mga pa shout out sa mga estudyante natin na they keep on um, giving their comment they are keep on subscribing to our channel for today, my dear pink clowners, ang i-discuss ko po is the arithmetic sequence ito po ay isang uri ng sequence wherein meron po siyang isang part na kakaiba aside from those other sequence and siri, uh, series. Okay? Arithmetic sequence, general term. Dito po tayo mag-uumpisa. Okay? Sulat ko muna bago ko po i-discuss. Ang general term po ng arithmetic sequence goes like this. Okay? So, we have a of n is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Yan, focus ko lang po muna. Okay, that's it. A sub n is equal to the, to the A sub n. Ito po yun. Is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Yung d stands for common difference. Okay, d is equal to common. Yan, sulat ko lang po muna ha difference. Ano ba yung common difference sa tinatawag natin? Ito po yung pare-parehong interval na makikita natin sa bawat term ng ating sequence. Okay. Magbibigay po ako ng example. Ito po yung example natin. Okay. We have 4, 7, 10, 13. And then, tatlong dot. Tignan nyo po munang mabuti. 4, 7, 10, 13. And then, kama, tatlong dat ang sumusunod. Ang tatlong dat po na ito, ang ibig sabihin po sa atin yan is ellipsis. Ano po yung ellipsis na sinatawag natin? Ang ellipsis po, that means, or nag, nagsasabi po yan sa atin na ang sequence na ito, yung number na ito, yung pattern na na-generate ng, ng sequence na ito is continuous. Ibig sabihin, infinite siya. Tuloy-tuloy. Okay? ang naisulat kong number hanggang 13 lang pero may susunod ito po yung tinatawag ko kanina yung sinasabi ko kanina na ito, wait lang ha interval sa bawat number or sa bawat sequence or sorry, sa bawat term we have 4 papuntang 7, this is the first term the second term third term, then the fourth term ang fifth term, saka na lang natin malalaman, no? okay First term, papuntang second term. Ilan ang kanyang interval? The answer is 3. Second term, papuntang third term. Ilan ang kanyang interval? 3. Third term, papuntang fourth term. Meron din siyang interval na 3. So, ibig sabihin, fourth term, papuntang fifth term. Meron din siyang interval na 3. Okay? So, mahuhulaan natin kung ano yung pang fifth term. Yung 3, 3, at 3, at 3 na yan, yan po yung tinatawag nating common difference, which is P. Okay? Next po natin is ito. Papacompute ko po sa inyo. First term is 4. Second term is 7. Third term is 10. And then the fourth term is 13. Kunwari, papahanap ko sa inyo ang seventh term. Ayan, ulitin ko lang ha. Fourth term, uh, first term is 4. Second term is 7. Third term is 10. Fourth term is 13. What is seventh term? Okay, gamit po yung general term niya, a of n is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. a sub 7 ang hahanapin natin. So therefore, ano yung first term natin? 
dapat maliwanag sa atin kung ano yung first term natin. Ayun po yung first term natin. So, we have 4 plus, ano yung n natin? Ito po, 7. Kung ano po yung n na nandito, ilalagay lang po din natin dito. Minus 1, fix po yung minus 1. And then, d. What is the d? Or what's the common difference na sinabi natin kanina? We have 3. Then, simplify na po natin to. PEMDAS rules. We have 4 plus 6 times 3. Sana kuha yung 6? 7 minus 1. Okay, is equals to 4 plus 18. Saan nakuha yung 18? 6 times 3. Okay, nakuha yung 18. And then, i-add na lang natin yan. We have 22. Okay, so that's it. 22 ang ating pang 7th term. Maliwanag po ba yung dito sa tinatawag natin na... Okay, yan. Focus ko lang sandali. Maliwanag na po ba yung tinatawag natin na general term of the sequence? Ngayon, papahanap ko din sa inyo. What is the 100th term? Case of 100. Pakicomment nyo na lang po ulit yung inyong mga sagot sa comment section ng video na ito. Please comply po, my dear pink clowners. Minumonitor ko po yun. Okay? Next. Screenshot na po. Yan, medyo malabo ng konti, no? Focus natin. Pakiscreenshot nyo na po. And there you go. There is the what you call as the general term of the sequence. Ang susunod naman po na part natin dito. Okay? Uh, ganto kami nung mga 90s namin, no? pagandahan ng design. Yan lang yung kaya kong design ng aking notebook nung ako po yung nag-aaral din lang po tulad nyo. No? And then, ganyan. No? <laughs> Pangit, no? Sorry na. Okay. Next natin, ito po, is the partial sum. Okay. Yan. Partial sum of arithmetic. Sorry. Arithmetic sequence. Okay, the partial sum of the arithmetic sequence. Meron po tayong dalawang kailangang um, i-familiarize. Ayoko ng sabihin yung i-memorize. Eh. Familiarize. Kailangan mong i-familiarize sa mathematics. Be familiar, uh, be familiar with the uh, formula, the general term of it. Kayang 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 kaya mo pong mag-solve. Okay, yung una, ito. Okay, so we have S of n is equal to the n over 2 first term plus the last term. Ito po yung una. S of n is equal to n over 2 first term times first term plus last term. Yung pangalawa naman po is ito. S of n is equal to the n over 2 times 2 first term plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, yan po yung dalawa. Ito po yung una, ito po yung pangalawa. Gagamitin ko po yung dalawang to. The same problem na sequence, na arithmetic sequence. Ito po, 4, 7, 10, 13. Okay, papahanap ko kunwari sa inyo ang 7th term, hanggang sa 7th term. S7. Okay, gagamitin po natin ito na to, uh, formula na to. Okay? So, we have S of n is equal to n over 2 times first term plus last term. Ito kasi, 7. So, ibig sabihin kung ano man yung n natin na nandito, we have 7 over 2. Next, ano yung first term natin kanina? We have 4. Plus, ano yung 7th term natin kanina? A sub 7. Na na-compute natin kanina ito. A sub 7 is 22. So, we have 22. Next, 7 divided by 2, or 7 over 2, times 4 plus 22. Ito muna yung gagawin ko, no? So, we have 26. Paano naging 26 ito, my dear pink clowners? 4 plus 22 kaya naging 26 ngayon, 
most common na nahihirapan yung mga bata, eto muna yung i-divide nila. 7 divided by 2. Tama rin po yun. Pero, wag po nating masyadong pahirapan yung sarili natin. Siyempre, this is 2. That is even number. So, i-divide mo siya sa kapareho niyang even number. Dito natin i-divide. Para hindi po tayo magkakaroon ng fraction or hindi tayo magkakaroon ng decimal point. So, we have 7 times 13. Can you follow kung bakit naging 13 to? That's because 26 divided by 2. Kaya nawala na rin po yung fraction ng 7 na yan. Okay, next. 7 times 13, ilan? 7 times 3 is 1. Carry 2. 7, 8, 9. The answer is 91. Ang total ng ating sequence, first term hanggang 7th term is 91 eto po yun. Okay. Gamitin naman po natin yung aking second na formula. Kunwari, hindi natin alam yung seventh term. Eto, hindi natin kinumpute to. Okay? At hindi binigay ng teacher yan. Ang binigay lang sa atin ng teacher is, eto, yung C, ah, yung sequence na ito, 4, 7, 10, and 13, Tapos, eto na kaagad, S sub 7, ang pinapahanap ni teacher. Pwede na namang gamitin mo ito, pero i-compute mo muna yung 7th term. Pero suppose tinatamad ka ng i-compute yung pang 7th term. So, eto ang gagamitin mo ngayon. Okay? 7th term. So, we have 7 over 2 times 2, okay, times 6, plus 7 minus 1, times 3 Okay, tignan yung mabuti yung sinulat ko Can you follow? Yung 7, yun po yung N Yung 6, oh sorry hindi siya 6, nagkamali na ako nang naisulat, no? Hindi siya 6, it is 4 Saan ko nakuha yung 4? Sa first term Okay Sa first term ko yung nakuha, I'm sorry hindi po 6, 4 ang susulat natin dito Plus, 7 minus 1. N minus 1. Tapos, yung common difference natin is 3. Next natin is 7 over 2. 8 plus 6 times 3. Okay, can you still follow kung paano nangyari yun? 2 times 4, kaya naging 8. 7 minus 1, kaya naging 6. Next line natin is 7 over 2. 8 plus 18 Okay, very good. Pinag-compute ko po yung 6 times 3 kaya naging 18. Next natin is 7 over 2 times 26 Kung papansinin natin, halos naging katulad na lang po siya dito. Okay, mas humaba po yung computation natin. Then, Again, ito natin i-cancel. at uh, even to even number, 7 times 13. And then, same computation. 7 times 13, the answer is 91. Okay? So, alin sa dalawang to? Yan, screenshot nyo na lang po. Para, ito, focus ko siya. Screenshot nyo na lang po para po mas magkaroon kayo ng idea kung alin sa dalawang yan ang mas madali. Again, ulitin ko. The general term of the arithmetic sequence at yung partial sum niya, merong dalawang um, formula. Okay. Summarize ko na lang po. Ah. Read the description below. Magbibigay po ako ng another activities for this. Okay. We have the arithmetic sequence. sequence general term again that is a of n is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d yan po yung general term ng arithmetic sequence tapos yung partial sum niya s of n is equal to the n over 2 first term plus last term at yung isa naman po is S of N is equal to the N over 2 dalawang first term 
plus n minus 1 times d. Yan po yung dalawa sa ating partial sum. Focus ko ulit. Ayan po. Again, basahin nyo po yung sa nasa description ng video na ito. Magbibigay po ako ng activity sa inyo. Isulat sa lo, uh, one whole sheet of paper at ipapasa nyo po sa akin. Thank you very much po mga Mathematics 10 Pink Clowners. God bless. Ingat po kayong lahat. Okay, keep safe and God bless.